Every year, nearly one in three deaths are caused by heart disease and stroke. And for nearly half these people, the very first symptom is a major cardiac event. Many of these deaths could be prevented if there was a simple way to detect heart disease before it becomes critical. All arteries of the body have a single layer of cells called the endothelium, which functions as a shield. This shield prevents the buildup of plaque along the walls of the arteries and also blood clots from forming inside the arteries. That's why it's so important to know that this shield is functional. A doctor with the correct interventions at the right time can do a lot to prevent atherosclerosis. Blood pressure and cholesterol readings tell only half the story. 75% of people who suffer a heart attack have absolutely normal cholesterol levels. Blood pressure measurements tell us nothing about how much plaque is actually built up inside the arteries. In 43 of the past 50 years, healthcare spending has outgrown GDP. The U.S. spends about $3 trillion a year on healthcare, which amounts to about $10,000 per person. This could be something like a $30 billion industry up from nothing today. When we think about the Internet of Things in healthcare, we're thinking about mobile devices that connect all the different participants, the patient, the caregiver, a provider, and allows for information to be delivered that informs a clinical decision. The U.S. healthcare system has so many participants, payers, doctors, hospitals, patients, all of those individuals need to be on the same page to make this technology work. Taking a step back, this technology has the potential to take a system that's been really slow to change and turn it on its head, where by the next 50 years, look completely different than the prior 50.